Hello students, welcome to this video lecture. In this video lecture, we are going to study about a very important conic section, which is called ellipse. But before that, let me tell you the solution of the questions which Pavan sir gave you in the previous lecture. One question was this, can you find the equation of this curve? So basically here, this becomes 4, sin 40 plus 90 will become cos 40 by your concept of allied angles in trigonometry. So when you will square both, both of them and add x square plus y square, this will become 4 square sin square 40 plus 4 square cos square 40. So you get 4 square as 16 and sin square 40 plus cos square 40 remains here which is actually equal to 1. So this is 16. So x square plus y square is equal to 16 is the equation which is the answer. So this is the resultant motion when the these two simple harmonic motions overlap over one another and the radius of the circle will be given as 4 here. Got this 4 square. The second question that was given to you was a particle is projected with a speed of 8 meter per second at an angle from horizontal which was given as 60 degree and we have to take g as 10 meter per second square. Now we have to calculate the radius of curvature when the particle is at the highest point here. The formula that we have discussed in the previous lecture comes out to be u square cos square theta upon g. Now we have to calculate this radius of curvature here. So the radius of curvature after getting the values of u as 8 meter per second square, cos square theta will become cos square 60 degree and g is 10 meter per second square. So this is 64. Cos 60 is half and square of half is 1 by 4, 5, 10. So finally 4, 16, 64 and this is 1.6 meter which is the radius of curvature at the topmost position. So these were the answers of the questions which were given in the previous video. Now we will move on to the topic which is called ellipse. So ellipse is a general case of a circle. When we talk about ellipse, it is a general case of a circle. Circle is a specific case of ellipse. So before giving you the equation of ellipse, I will tell you a few terms. So what am I doing here? I am drawing a horizontal line and I am taking a point S here and I am taking a line which is perpendicular to this horizontal line. This point is called focus and this line is called directrix. Now for ellipse, you need to know these two things and one more thing which is called eccentricity which is in short written as E and for ellipse eccentricity is always less than 1. It can have any values with 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.75, 0 0.99 or 0 0.2. Basically it is always positive so greater than between 0 and 1. It is yes. between 0 and 1 and if eccentricity becomes zero then this ellipse becomes a circle which is a specific case. So what is eccentricity? Eccentricity in conic sections mean a point is following a path which we call locus of a point such that for example there is a point P here such that its distance from focus divided by its distance from directrix is always constant. So eccentricity is PS upon PM. So P is a point which gives the distance from focus divided by its distance from directrix as E and in case of ellipse eccentricity is actually less than 1. Since it is the ratio of the distances this can't be negative because distance is not negative. Extreme cases it can become zero when the directrix is at infinity then it becomes a circle. 
So now from this concept we are going to start about ellipse. What we do here, we take a point A on this line such that distance of A from S and distance of A from M will have a ratio E, whatever E is given. There is not only one point which divides this portion in the ratio E is to 1. There is not only one point on this line. There is one more point on this blue line which is dividing AS by AM or let us say this is AN in the ratio E is to 1. But that point will be an external point, external division. So we may get a point A dash also such that A dash S upon A dash N so let us call it N because M is already taken here we are calling this as N is equal to A. So basically if you take a focus you take a directrix and you join the focus with the foot of perpendicular on the directrix you will get two points on this line one is A another is A dash which is dividing SN in the ratio A is to 1. One point is internal division, another point is external division. So after this, we start the steps which is involved to prove the equation of an ellipse. But right now, I am not going into the derivation part. I am giving you the final result because we are here studying coordinate geometry and its application in physics. So it is not pure maths, we are not going into too much of maths here. So what happens, we take this a as a comma 0 as this one minus a comma 0 and the midpoint of this is taken as origin which is 0 comma 0. And we draw a perpendicular through this origin on this blue line and we call this as y axis and then we call this as x axis. So after knowing x axis, y axis and origin you know what is the coordinate of a that is a comma 0 what is the coordinate of a dash that is minus a comma 0 so the length a a dash is actually 2a which is also called the major axis this is what we get here this is called major axis then we find that the focus s I am not finding it out for you right now you can see the mathematical portion of our video for the whole derivation. For now, I am just giving you the result. So this focus will come out to be a e comma zero. This is the coordinate of this focus. And this directrix will have an equation x is equal to a upon 